now we are starting a new section called identifying parts of speech. So let me see how I can explain this. When you see a sentence and you read the sentence, each word in the sentence is something. And so we're going to start by finding nouns. Now, a noun, which is spelled like this, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing in a sentence. So let's read the sentence up here and see if we can find the person, place, or thing. The soup is hot. So do we have a person in that sentence? The soup is hot. No. Do we have a place? The soup is hot. No. Do we have a thing? The soup is hot. Yes, we have a thing. What is the thing? Is it a the? Is it a soup? Is it a uh? Is it a hot? A soup. Yay! The soup is the noun in the sentence. Now, guess what? Some sentences can have more than one noun. Let's see if I can write one. All right, let's read this sentence together. The dog plays with the cat. Now, a noun is a word in the sentence that is a person, place, or thing. So, is a dog, is a the a person, place, or thing? No. Is a dog a person, place, or thing? Yes. Is a plays a person, place, or thing? No. Is a with a person, place, or thing? No. Is a the a person, place, or thing? No. Is a cat a person, place, or thing? Now. It is. Yes. Now. Let's do one more, okay? In today's lesson, we're going to talk about a tool that we can put in our toolbox of writing because we want to write well. Correct? Yes. So we've learned all the mechanical things like we need to put a capital letter on the first word of a sentence and we need to put a punctuation mark at the end of a sentence. Those are all very important. But one way we can write better and communicate better in writing is to use adjectives when we write. So I have written three sentences on the board, and I'm going to show you how we can add adjectives to make the sentence better, because we want the person that's reading what we have written to see what we see, hear what we hear, smell what we smell, taste what we taste, and feel what we feel, and we can do that by adding adjectives. So let's read the first sentence together. The boy played the piano. So, how can we describe boy? Let's say I'm writing this sentence and I want to describe that, you know, it wasn't just a boy, it was a little boy. And the little boy was playing the piano. Well, if I use the word little boy right here, suddenly the person that reads it sees a different boy in their mind than what they did before because I'm telling them it's a little boy. I'm using an adjective. So we can make our sentences better by using adjectives. The little boy played the piano. Little is the adjective, and that makes the sentence better, much better. How about this one? The light bothered me. Now, what kind of light bothers us? 
Maybe we're trying to sleep. The bright light bothered me. So we can use the word bright as the adjective to describe the light. In the last lesson, we learned about the opening sentence, which introduces the topic to the reader. And now we're going to talk about the body sentences. And I'm going to write some body sentences. So remember, my assignment said, write a paragraph about a skateboard. So my first sentence was an opening sentence. And I wrote, I want a skateboard for my birthday. Mm-hmm. Now I'm going to tell my reader all the things that I love about a skateboard because I want a skateboard for my birthday. I can ride it. Notice that I'm just writing within the paper and when I get to the end of the line, I go all the way back to this side because I don't want to write off the side and be down here and going into the kitchen counter and onto the table or my desk. That would be terrible. So I'm just going to write over to the side. So once I get to the edge of my paper, I come over here and keep writing just on the next line. So there's one thing. I can say about why I want a skateboard, but I don't want to stop there. That would be a very short paragraph. I need probably three sentences for my body pair or body of, of my paragraph. So let me read this out loud. I want a skateboard for my birthday. All right. First body sentence. I can write it. It will be fun. I'm going to use an exclamation mark because it will be fun. Hmm. What else can I say? Today we begin a very new lesson called the parts of a personal letter. Now, a personal letter is just simply when you write a letter to someone. That's all it is. So today we're going to learn about the different parts. First, we have the date. So this part is called the date. This is when you write the letter. So this student, Rosie, wrote the letter on June the 7th of 2018. Now, the date is written a special way, and we'll learn about that in the next lesson. But for now, I just want you to think about the different parts. So here's the date. Then this part is called the greeting. It's like the hello in a letter, and it has a comma after it. This part in blue is called the body of the letter. And this part down here is called the closing. And this part here is called the signature.